now with the second part I'm gonna start with this this very exit button okay so I'm gonna close that and the first thing I'll do is to add the following lines of code you need to import javax swing j frame and you also need to import this j option panel okay we're gonna be using that for the message so let's come in here inside the exit button double click on that or you can just right click and select events action action perform and we enter the following lines of codes in there okay and up here I have actually declared a method there okay that you actually used to create an object in here okay so if you click on the exit button this message pops up and this is displayed on the message box and here that is the java message options for you and if the option selected is yes the system exits so let's try that out and you see what i'm talking about so run that and if i click on exit there if you click on no you stay within the system if you click on yes the system exits okay let's continue okay let's have a go at this reset button so I'm going to start with J txt apple dot let's go for set text and that will be no then we're going to repeat the same thing for j c h k apple dot and there so that which resets these two component there one and two so if i run it let's compile and run check that and add some content in here there okay so i will repeat the same thing for all of these components here i may have to speed it up to save time okay i've actually speed up the codes and here they are all right let me just show it to you guys that's the reset button take it from up here and bring it down All right, that's that set. So let's give it a shot and see how it works. Let's try that out. Let's select any of these components and enter some values in there. And we can just reset. Okay, let's click on reset there guys so that is taken care of okay the next thing I like to do is to prevent all of these text box from the user entering character okay so what I'll do is come in here let's end the whole process and right here you can right click on one of those text box and go for key events key time and in there right here we enter the following lines of codes so take a good look at those lines of codes I have declared an object here which will prevent the end user from entering just ordinary character okay if we compile and run 
and give that a try you see what I'm talking about take a good look at those lines of code because I intend to speed it up right if I come in here enter numbers in there that's fine and let me demonstrate it with this keyboard right in there try to enter characters see nothing is happening but if I decide to press to enter number keys see that guys okay so you see how that works now which is brilliant so reset so I'm going to re repeat the same thing for all of these components here so let's do that now okay the next thing I like to do is to disable all of these text box once the system starts so I think the best thing is to right click on the form itself let's come to windows and let's go for window activate let's try that for the form I'm going to start with J txt apple dot enable well, set enable equals four. So let me try this very single line of code out. Compile. Let's run it and see what we happen to the Apple component. All right, as you can see, is disabled. Okay, so we we'll repeat the same thing. Let's repeat the same thing for orange. So that's. Or maybe the meat, yeah, the meat. I'll come in here and just enter meat in right in there. Okay, and try that out as well. Compile and we'll run it as well. Yeah, the meat is disabled as well. So I will just speed this up now. Okay, guys, those are the lines of codes. So what will happen is when you run the program. The text box they will all be disabled look at that okay I think maybe we should disable this one as well does that have a name let's see there's no name for this so let's right click um, come right in here and just call it J J T X T oh that's an area T S T receipt okay area so so I know that is area okay so let's see if we can disable that as well come right in here and get it disabled too let's copy this there so we'll run that and see how it looks like okay that's is all disabled now now the next thing I like to do is to be able to enable it with this with this checkbox so to do that I think is not going to be wise I think what I should do is disable all of this as well and enable those with the button so let's come go back to let's go back to the yeah there we go form window activate and let's say c h k apple dot set enable let's make that force as well there and let's make the rest force then there's that of meat as well this orange so let's say meat this orange okay let's try those three out first and see how it looks like okay you can see one two and three they are all disabled the only thing that can enable it will be this so if I come in here let's try and enable one force and see so action perform so let's ask it to enable 
this. I'll pull. Yeah. Right. So just that single line of code should enable that. So right now they are all disabled. That enables it. And this will enable this. And you can enter your data in there. So that's easy. So let's complete this one first. Then we'll deal with the others. But I can just speed that up because you guys now get the whole idea. Okay. Now the codes to disable this checkbox they are already so let's run it and see that as well how it works okay you see they are all disabled now so the only bit that is enabled is just the buttons okay only this button can enable this very one so let's repeat the same thing for the rest so we come in here first we've done this so now let's take care of this other one action perform so is that right was the name of this button that has no name we need to give it a name now let's come in here the variable name that will be btn mid okay so repeat that for btn mid yeah right in here jchk meet dot set enable okay I can just copy it right there copy that there so those two are completed I'm just gonna speed it all up and get back to you guys this is completed I enabled that and this enabled it so let me speed it up okay now if you click on this very button you notice I have just I've completed all of this so these are the buttons that will enable the checkbox okay and I've completed it for all of the buttons so if I run it, you can have a good look at those lines of code. If I run it, let's compile and run. So I can enable all of those checkbox using my buttons here. And I can also use this checkbox. So the whole idea is to be able to use this checkbox to enable this text box here so and the other thing I you know have to do is when I click on reset I like all of these components I like them disabled as well so to do that let me go straight into the form itself now just copy the lines of code I have on the form okay this is supposed to be the lines of codes right there so we'll copy all of those and we'll paste those ones inside reset action perform right in there come right down okay and disable it as well there we go so if I run it now see now enable and I can also disable it with this yeah that's fine so with that I'm gonna call it the end of the second part of this tutorial so I'll see you guys later